Hey everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Welcome to today's vlog. We are starting the vlog from our office. Um, I'm sitting here editing yesterday's vlog. Sebastian's waiting for some updates on his computer so that he can help me edit yesterday's vlog. So it is um, almost one o'clock actually, and we're both hungry. I don't, and usually we have lunch around like 11 something. Mm -hmm. What time um, is it? Oh. Yeah, that's why it just ends one o'clock. Oh, so yeah. we're gonna have some of yesterday's leftovers from yesterday's meal that we showed you all which is broccoli cheddar soup, and it was so freaking good. Mm. So easy, so, so good. Did you look? No, I swear. I, I have the footage. <laughs> I'm the editor. And you so. added half of a video, and suddenly you're the editor. <laughs> you were so excited yesterday. I was, I'm said... so grateful. One second. Three, two, one, there go. Found it. Ah. Damn it. Oh, there it is. You won two rounds. We should have a chalkboard. Tally, to see who wins overall. Am I too competitive? Everyone knows that I'm gonna win this. Uh, excuse me. What? I win every year. No. So the intro went up and you guys are leaving lots of nice funny comments about it. I was looking at comments that I hadn't responded to from videos from last year because I went into like a video to look at something for reference. And I noticed a comment that someone said like about the intro and said, I wonder if Sebastian is really as mischievous as he is in all of these intros. He's trying so, oh, I guess this is exhibit A. <laughs> <laughs> and he is, people think he's like so chill, so soft. I am so, so chill. So nice and like I he's so calm. Nice. But he is such also very a calm. terror. He is such a terror. He's so perception. He is so mischievous. Wait, okay, so, um, I, I thought we were just gonna have like a little bit, not you like. You didn't say that, you said that's half soup. Okay, so here you're just like dividing <laughs> up the rest. Yeah, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I want as much as possible. Yeah. So, anyways, he's a super like crazy prankster. He loves to pull pranks on people. I don't know if I've told this story before. I'm not doing it a lot though, or hardly ever. He does never. it all the time. He also loves April Fool's Day. Normally, he pulls a prank on me. But I remember the first time he did it, I wasn't expecting it. So he had bought me a hedgehog for Christmas that year. Oh, here. What came? It's something for me, but the great thing is, is it came. How is that so exciting? If it's... I'll tell you why. I just got a package. It was a Christmas gift for Sebastian. It was. It's now good for me. It so much. No, I'm, I have to get back to my story, but the great thing is, is it came unlabeled, which is fantastic because usually the, the thing that gives away Christmas gifts is like the... Yeah, when they have the logo. This ruins Christmas gifts. It's, it's better with Amazon where it just says Amazon. Amazon, yeah, but this is something for you and it came without the logo. What is it? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. Anyways, <laughs> so... <laughs> I could try. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the Sonic story. So for some reason he was watching my hedgehog. He sends me a text on April Fool's Day. He sends me a text of baby hedgehogs and says, oh my God, we didn't realize this, but Sonic's actually a girl and Sonic just had babies. And I was like, oh my God, I believed him. <laughs> I believed him. I, I, I mean, I should have put it together because like we had Sonic since December, like it was April. <laughs> yeah, he pulls pranks on me and my sister all the time because we're both super gullible. I'm gullible too. Are you? Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm just always like, I believe everything. If someone tells me something, I'm like, I don't think that they would lie to me. I just trust them. Yeah, that's I'm a like, good thing. I'm like, oh my you God. Trust people. Yeah, I do. I trust people too much, I think. <laughs> hey, do you want to watch Xmas for 10 minutes? Sure. Are we having this? Sure, that'd be great. Okay. Are we going to finish that Eddie I Murphy mean, movie or no? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we might, but we'll see. All right, so update, it is quite a bit later. It's almost seven. 
We are heading out to Martini Town, which is a film set where they are filming usually a lot of movies down here in the Vancouver uh, Lower Mainland. Yeah, so it's, um, he told me about this recently. I didn't even know this existed. But basically it's like, uh, imagine like Universal Studios, but for like Hallmark movies. And they had this thing yesterday where you could pay an exorbitant amount of money to go see. <laughs> Um, and like hang out with some some of the actors Hallmark, from Hallmark movie movies. actors, which sounds really cool, but I don't think I'd want to pay that much money to like go hang out with Hallmark movie actors. I wouldn't mind like it was a panel. Some... You didn't even get to like, oh was, okay yeah, so, panel. Yeah. What is it like Hallmark Con? Yeah, Hallmark Con. Basically, <laughs> they don't call it that. I guess. But yeah. What's new about this whole thing is that they decorated for the holidays. Not like a Christmas market. But still, it's like a mini film set of a town decorated for Christmas, basically. Cool, I hope they have like, uh, they probably don't have like mold wine or anything, but that'd be really cool. All right, here we are. Where are we? We are in Martini Town. We are, uh, you don't have no. to go down. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was going down because of you. Oh, you didn't have to go down. are not showing anything. <laughs> it's so festive. There's so many lights. I'm like, are these LED lights? Because I never see LED lights looking this magical usually. I'm not sure. I haven't. Switched fully over to LED because I feel like they don't. The song's really good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I haven't fully switched over to LED yet because I feel like they just don't have the same magical look as incandescent, but these are starting to look more convincing. Alright. So, what's your expert opinion of the lights? Upon closer inspection, they're not as <laughs> magical, but those ones over there look very magical. Yeah. I think they're incandescent. Like, I better get off the road, someone might drive into me. <laughs> I was just thinking that. It just has way more of that incandescent look, doesn't it? <laughs> See, they're cold. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. So sparkly. What's the bird that's obsessed with glitter again? Magpie or something? That's not sure. <laughs> okay, look at this. The bow. Wow. It's really pretty. Well, it's, it's actually got foam in there, I think, to make wow. it more sturdy, but that's a great idea. I yeah. should do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, and some DIY inspiration yeah, here. Yeah, well, like, why do they always have way better decorations available to them at, like, for, like, malls, stores, places like this? Why can't it just be that they sell good decorations everywhere? And it's easily accessible for everyone. <laughs> like, I always have to, like, DIY my own stuff because I... I feel like I can rarely ever find really great decorations. <laughs> oh, that's a coffee place. Oh, you actually bought? Oh, you yeah, can buy here. coffee. Yeah, here. Here's the menu. Oh, let's get something. Let's get hot chocolate. Romans University. <laughs> oh my god. That is so Hallmark. Oh, it wouldn't matter if I get copyrighted anyways. I don't have a, a partnership. <laughs> what? I'm on the road again, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm on the road. <laughs> get off the road. Oh my god, this is giving me, like, my nanny Lee used to have these kinds of decorations. Oh, the snow is going again. You know about the snowstorm? No, I didn't know about the snowstorm. It was so loud, I thought there was real people singing. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so they are real. <laughs> We're like, oh, they sound so real. Also, I love that they're dressed in like this actual festive, like, Attire that's yeah. like they're actually carolers from back in the day, like to 1800s or something. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Me? Your guesses from the 1800s or I don't know. <laughs> back in the day, and the mini donut thing is closed. Yeah. I was so excited. Yeah, I was so excited about it. Oh my god. <laughs> they really do have some Christmas in almost every spot, which yeah. really reminds me of Hallmark. Because yeah. Hallmark, they have lights literally everywhere. everywhere. If you look at a background, it's completely decked out yeah. in Christmas. All right, we're lining up now for um, coffee. Oh, finally skipped the line. Oh yeah, nice. 
Oh, really? Where? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Where? Now we're talking. Wait, we got here at what? 7.30? 7 7.30. What time is it now? 8.54. <gasps> it's been an hour and a half here. We did. Oh my gosh, it's a little, oh, it's a little restaurant. Look. I was going for with my kitchen. Oh my gosh, look at the gingerbread house. Wow. This is so pretty. I'm sitting on Santa's lap. <laughs> <laughs> So we are back home now. We quickly stopped at the grocery store to grab some stuff for dinner. We initially thought that we were gonna eat at the Martini, what's it called again, Martiniville? Martini Town. Martini Town. But they didn't have any food, really. They had like a, what was the pizza place? Like a yeah. wood fire pizza, yeah. which doesn't really feel festive. And then they had a barbecue stand that did like pulled pork and like it was called like texas barbecue and i'm like these are the most unchristmassy things it you could possibly popular. eat no one ate at any of them like there was no one in line that at either of them so we only had like a hot chocolate there which was actually pretty good yeah made us want more hot chocolate so we got some stuff to make a hot chocolate drink after so anyways we're gonna make a quick dinner um we're gonna make some chicken just like lightly pan sear it with some salt and pepper and then make a pan sauce to have with some asparagus, which is my favorite. I love asparagus. And we both work tomorrow. So unfortunately can't be like a fun late night where we get to watch Christmas movies and stuff after. We're gonna be off. I forgot to even mention this. I don't think I mentioned this. I'm actually off this time for Vlogmas longer than I was last year because I took less vacation time. So I'm off on the 13th to the 27th, or I go back on the 28th. So in total nine days, which is amazing. And I already mentioned, we're gonna go back to Whistler for two days, at yep. least two days, we might stay longer. Um, and we're staying in a different hotel this time, which is like not, doesn't work well for my heart that doesn't like change. But at the same time, you can experience like new things or find new better things if you never try. So True. Sebastian said we should try something else. So um, we're going to stay at a different hotel in a different area, which is like, that's the thing that makes me sad. So we're staying at the Four Seasons, which is a really beautiful hotel. But the sad thing is, is it's not actually in the village. So you have to walk quite a bit further, but I get my steps in. So I'm going to make my peace with it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. And then there's also like a, a fondue chalet that's, nearby I think that I'm really looking forward to trying so hopefully it'll be a good experience yeah I'm gonna miss my fireplace because it's like fun to make marshmallows in the and fire the, the next time yeah next time you can time. always come back okay so I have a question for y'all I'm going to start doing the prep while I talk typically what I do for my like cooking segments is I will film all the prep. So like if I'm chopping an onion, I will film chopping the onion. If I'm grating the cheese, I'll film grating the cheese. But that takes me a lot longer usually for filming and for editing. So I was wondering if it doesn't make a difference and don't just say it to be nice to me, um, then I won't add those segments. But if you feel like it really adds to the overall effect of the dish of like seeing me prepare those those bits then please let me know but for this one i'm not going to show you guys how i like cut up the shallot and stuff but i thought i would just check in with you guys to see how you felt about that or maybe you guys would prefer if i just like talk during these segments like while i'm doing the prep and then do the montage of the actual assembly i don't know let me know what you think so we're having a glass of wine while we make dinner um i'm obsessed with these wine glasses they're from crate and barrel these are actually the red wine glasses Sante. Sante but they're just so ginormous. I love ginormous glasses. I feel like white wine drinkers get the crappy end of the stick because we always have these like tiny little glasses. And then the red wine glasses are so nice and big and like feel great in your hand. Yeah. Make you feel like a giant drinking out of them, like big, big goblet. Um, but yeah, I really love the like look of these like big square glasses. For the longest time I had the white ones which are much smaller. And then I saw someone on Instagram drinking out of this and I was like either that person's hands are really small or there are different glasses. And then I saw that they had red glasses. I love them. I'll link them if you are curious about them.
call it Merry Xmas. I don't know why. Maybe that was like another movie. We started the movie Xmas with Leighton Meester and what's his name? Robbie Amell. Robbie Amell. So far, super funny. We're gonna have some dinner. This is basically just chicken breast with some asparagus and a pan sauce. It's like a very simple, fast meal, but it's a little bit more elevated. When you make a pan sauce, it just like elevates all the flavors. It's kind of like a bear blanc. So the, the, chicken, really the chicken stock is what makes it not a bear blanc because normally you would use some type of acid like a vinegar, but it's just got white wine and chicken stock. Mm -hmm. next day we're coming on to end the vlog also the footage of us introducing the drink yesterday that we made at the end of the video the hot chocolate drink uh, was corrupted so I thought we would come on and talk a little bit about the drink as well it was a hot chocolate drink that I saw on Instagram from this really amazing creator she does the most like aesthetic cute drink recipes um, so I'm gonna link the Instagram creator that I used the recipe from in the description bar below You guys should also give her a follow We also made a drink from her the other night with rum chata, which was incredible We modified it a little bit, but um, I think that the original is probably really good too If you can tolerate really strong drinks The drink we made last night was really good. My one note is that it was very very sweet Sebastian didn't think it was too sweet. I thought it was way way too sweet um i never have that though usually yeah. i think hardly ever that, that i think something's really too sweet yeah yeah i would definitely half the amount of hot chocolate and i think rum chata just makes everything taste more festive it's kind of got like that cinnamony mm -hmm. kind of spicy taste to it so it's very festive good. it was so good so i good. loved it yeah. yeah so anyways i hope you all enjoyed today's video um i'm sorry that this is going up super late but that's probably going to be the reality throughout vlogmas and i used to stress about how late a video would get up but now i'm just gonna try to post as much as i can even if it goes up late and if like five people see it before the next day if you want to know when we post uh turn on notifications because they'll probably be coming out late and that's kind of just the surefire way to know if we post on a day i'm gonna try to post as much as possible we're on day we're, we're vlogging day four right now so i guess we'll see where we get to with his help i could probably post most days <laughs> I need to help you more. Yeah. yeah, he needs to help me more. This last vlog, he was not very helpful. And I was like cram editing after work today. And then he helped me edit for an hour. So we we're just like rushing. So the editing might not be top tier, but <laughs> it is what it is. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Merry Christmas.